Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and holy moly, holy moly. Can I just start off with the holy moly? Oh my lord, have mercy, so freaking excited right now because got a bottle of Russell's Reserve 13, the 22 edition, the brand new edition that just came out. I'm losing my mind that I have this bottle because I never actually got the 20, like last year's release, and I just recently actually got to try the 2021 release thanks to one of my friends in 5280 Whiskey Society, Eric. He let Bill and I try it one night after I got to do my first barrel pick with 5280. Oh my God, so many exciting things happening. I'm jazzed, I'm, I'm super jazzed. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here. I cannot wait to give you guys this review of Russell's 13. This is, like I said, the 2022 release, the one that just came out. I'm so grateful to have a bottle of this. I was so heartbroken last year, like everybody was talking about how it was such a good bottle. But does this bottle, does this new release live up to all that hype? And is it actually as good as last year's release? I don't know because I don't have a second one to compare it to right now. I just have memory of what the other one tasted like. And I'll tell you right now, that other one was so freaking good. It actually ranks in one of my top whiskeys of all time. It's on my list. Now let's see where this one ranks. It's time to dive in and give you guys my review of this one. So if you guys don't know, let's let's read the bottle here. This is the Russell's Reserve 13 year old barrel proof and barrel proof is 114.8 proof on this bottle. Now, let me tell you what I smell on the nose. I can't stop drinking. Bill's like, Dara, you have to slow you have to stop drinking so much of that one. Gotta savor it, right? And I'm just like, every time I'm like, can I have a pour of this? I'm gonna get a pour of this. I'm getting a pour of this. I'm having another pour of this. So we haven't had it that long and I'm already like, I'm the one destroying it and Bill's still like catching up. So try to be patient, try to enjoy it. It's just so darn good. And I can't wait to share it with my friends. So here we go, on the nose on this one. This is heaven in a glass, on the nose. On the nose, I get oak, lightly crispy burned sugar, caramel, French vanilla, red um, liquor, like red, uh, what are those things? Twi Twizzlers, red, a t red Twizzler. It smells just like a red Twizzler, but not like too, too like fruity or anything. It just, I've got, a note of red Twizzler in there. Yeah, caramel, vanillas, oakiness. It's so balanced, so melodic. The, the notes on the, I mean the nose is freaking delicious. Well like, can you say a nose is delicious? It is, it literally feels like you should just take a bite out of the nose. The nose is so good. The more I smell it, the more I like it, it does not burn the nose hairs. It's not too over oaked. It doesn't have like a lot of spice in it, right? If you're like looking for something that's like super cinnamon spiced or cinnamony or brown sugar, you're not gonna get that out of this. This is just a really nice nose though. For me, this is like a little bit off of my normal profile minus the oakiness. I love that oakiness. Normally I don't like stuff that has like those extra sweet notes in it, but this smells like heaven in a glass. Like just, oh, so good. Okay, now let's move on to the palette. Does it match the nose? That's what we're about to find out. Oh. Holy moly. That is good. That is freaking phenomenal. I mean, the more I drink of this, the better it gets. And that is really good. This pour itself, I like set this out a little bit ago, so it's been kind of setting out, airing out for a while. I didn't need to do that because the bottle's been open, but oh my Lord, this is good. So let's talk about it. Sorry, I have to take another sip because every time I drink it, I'm like, oh, so good. So right up front, I get a huge burst of oak and sweetness. And by sweetness, I'm talking like caramel, vanilla, like a really rich caramel chew, chewy, like thick, chewy, syrupy, not syrup, 
not syrup, not caramel syrup, like a caramel chew that tastes like a, like a real caramel chew. Like, you know, the kind, like my grandma makes these caramel chews and that's what it tastes like to me. And then mid palate, it's a lot more vanilla, a lot more vanilla, even hints of like chocolate and toffee. Then it kind of rolls into more of that oakiness and I do get some cinnamon on the back end of it. I didn't get it on the nose, but on the back of this, I get a little bit of that cinnamon. I got to take another sip because this is so good. This is one everybody is going to be talking about. Everybody's going to want to find it. And I'm here to tell you that right now, this could win Whiskey of the Year again for a lot of people. But for me, it was not my Whiskey of the Year last year. And that's because I didn't have it. I didn't even get to try it. Oh. Oh, yeah. And actually, I said a little bit of cinnamon, even just like a little bit of that brown sugar that I thought I would get on the nose that I don't get. The finish, though, is so good. It just lingers there. I mean, holy freaking moly. This is a damn good bottle. I can't tell you any more than that. It's damn good. It's not over-oaked. It's not over-spicy. It's not over-sweet. It's literally so balanced, and it has so much complexity so much flavor, and it is just so downright good. And that is why I am going to give this bottle four and a half corks out of five. Four and a half corks. I've given one other bottle four and a half corks this year, and that was the Calumet 16. I cannot wait to blind these together because I have got to see. Oh, I mean, people go nuts over things like Stag Jr. and George T. Stag, and this to me, that's up there. This is so damn delicious. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I love this bottle. It's delicious. I'd highly recommend it. If you find it, buy it, get all of it. Catch them all, right? I think that's what people say if they like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. You got to catch this all. You got to. Anyhow, let me know if you found it, if you've tried it. Oh, wow. I just keep getting more flavor. Some of that toffee note that I got mid palate just keeps coming through. The flavor is still sitting there. Like I can still smell it and taste it. And I haven't even had it in my mouth for a minute. So that's all I got to say about that one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching The Average Drinker. Oh, wait, wait, but wait, there's more. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this is my shameless plug. If you guys have not become a patron yet, I would greatly appreciate it, but here's a chance for you to have a chance at getting a sample of this. So if you haven't become a patron, if you become a $20 patron, you can actually be entered in, in the end of July. Cause every month I do a drawing at the end of the month for samples that I bought over that month. So you have a chance cause there's only five people in that tier right now. So you have a pretty good chance, a one in five chance, well, if you join, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever it is, of having a chance to get a sample of the Russell's Reserve 13, amongst other things that we bought throughout the month. So if you haven't become a patron yet and you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, here's your chance now. I greatly appreciate it. Helps the channel keep running, helps keep the lights on, helps me pay for StreamYard and equipment and everything else. And plus, I offer some awesome behind the scenes content. I'm going to have some Glen Karens coming soon. Different merch that I hope to have soon as well. So, as always, thank you guys so much. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. And I'll see you next time.